Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. We have this beer right here from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. This is Mascot Pilsner. Mascot Pilsner. This is 5% alcohol by volume. Uh, what do we have on here? A modern take on traditional Pilsner. Uh, world's famous wine Stefaner yeast. Imparts clean flavors, uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. Shit, I did not expect that to happen. Yeah, we're drip dripping on the floor. We're drip dripping on the floor. So, golden color, lots of carbonation moving. A little hazy crazy, see? Hazy crazy, not too, too hazy, but a little bit of haze. Bright white, lots of snap, crackle, pop. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Smell? Ah, it smells, it smells kind of like, it smells kind of like the Pivo Pilses that a lot of other, uh, a lot, of, a lot of other craft breweries are putting out because it has that Pilsner-esque taste, it has that, uh, well, scent, it has that straw scent, it has that cut grass scent, but it also has a very apparent fruitiness to it. It has a little bit of grapefruit and a little bit of pineapple. Let's try it. Cheers. I like that, but I wouldn't think that was a Pilsner. I mean, if you just gave this to me and asked me to tell you what style it was, would not say Pilsner. Again, nice, nice, just graininess up at the forefront. Back end of this beer, very, very hoppy. Uh, grapefruit pith. Uh, a little bit of orange and a little bit of mango. It's, it's, as well as that cut grass taste, so the 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 re normal the normal pilsner esque taste is in there, but it's also very new age as well because there's a lot of fruitiness. I really enjoy this. That is easily easily worth an eight out of ten. I didn't think I'd give a pilsner that mascot pilsner. Bye guys.